Welcome to Friday Fun Day. As we look forward to the weekend, we can find ourselves looking for something new. You are invited to join us here at A Place of Faith where each week we offer a new idea or perspective for you to consider. We at A Place of Faith are delighted to share the path of spiritual enlightenment and the evolution of consciousness with you. Our intention is to share content with you that encourages interests and expands the horizons of your journey. Our mission is to create a safe place to explore and develop personal spiritual connections and relationships. Our vision is the joyous loving acceptance of all people as an expression of divine spirit and the ongoing evolution of consciousness to oneness. All are welcome here. Hi, thank you for joining us here at A Place of Faith. Today is Friday, and we love to come up with a fun day Friday idea. So our idea for this week, as you go into the weekend, is praying for others. That may not sound like a lot of fun, but I promise you it really can be. When I'm working with people developing a prayer habit, a prayer consciousness, whether they're prayer chaplains at the church or in individual counseling, just how do I start to pray? I like to recommend that we pray for others. Now, I have a congregation list from my church that I can use. You might not have that, but perhaps you have a social media and a list of friends, whether you know them or not, that might work. When I first started doing this, we had things called phone books where they had lists of all the people in the area code would be in that phone book. Um, you don't get those anymore. You might pick up a list of people who are running for office. They certainly need prayer. Wherever you come up with a list of names, it doesn't need to be people that you know. Just start praying for them the same way you would want someone to pray for you. And let me tell you why you would do this. For one thing, anytime you start praying for other people, your own problems start to fall away. They don't seem that big. And whatever you give in prayer, you also receive. So it's important when you pray to pray like you want someone to pray for you. And you don't even need to know the person. Get a name and start praying. You know, God, I see this person happy and joyous and filled with love. God, be the right ideas, the right decisions, the strength they need to cope with any problem. Thank you, God. Amen. What a wonderful prayer. Or you might pick up a, a, a list of names, maybe volunteer firefighters and pray for their protection, just as you would love to be protected. Praying for others not only sends that prayer out to whoever you're thinking of, but it wraps you in prayer as well. And it's amazing how getting focused on someone else and wishing them the best and helping them with their problems always lightens the load that we carry and lifts the problems off of our shoulders. Prayers can be uh, prayers that you have memorized, our father or whatever your favorite prayer is, or you can pray just like you're talking to God. If you're praying for somebody who you have a history with, maybe you could pray to their angels if, if that's a part of your belief system. And you can pray, please protect this person or watch over them. Soften their heart or let them know that they are loved. 
whatever joyous and wondrous thoughts come to you, share it with the world in prayer. Prayer really does work. It carries such energy, not only to the person that you're praying for, but to you as you pray for other people. So our Friday fun day idea is to pray for others. I have been known to spend about 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the evening going over the list of people that I'm praying for. If I know them and I know their prayer requests, I may come up with an affirmation. I see this person being healed and whole. I see this person holding their new grandbaby healthy and well. I see this person because, and I'm using those examples because I know these people and I know what they're praying for, but I don't have to know the people to pray for them. So let us know who you're praying for and how we can support you in prayer for yourself and others. Leave a note for us in the comments. Every single comment is read and responded to. And before we go, remember, you matter. You are sacred. And you are so very loved. Namaste. Follow us on Facebook for daily meditations, prayers, and all of our videos. If you know of anyone, anywhere, who is struggling with spirituality or who wants a spiritual community, please share our videos. Commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing are also ways to support us and help us grow. Reverend Linda is available by phone. Facebook Messenger, or Zoom conference for spiritual and ministerial counseling, guidance, and direction on a love offering basis. She can be reached through a place of faith at SoHoMail.com or through Unity Church of El Cajon. A place of faith is sponsored by Unity Church of El Cajon at 311 Highland Avenue, El Cajon, California, 92020. You can send donations there. Just put APOF on the check, or you can also contact us through our website at www.unityofelcajon.org and make your donations on the website. Thank you for your support.